Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, recently, I've seen a lot of people saying that World of Warcraft isn't for casual players. Um, even in Season of Discovery, that they can't be casual players anymore. Um, while I agree and disagree, and I'll tell you guys why, um, everyone seems to think that like rating is the only thing that matters in World of Warcraft, but that's and like that's the only thing that people do, but that's not true. I used to think that because that's kind of how it seems, like especially with the news, with Blizzard, and how they add things to the game, that like everything seems to be based around rating. But uh, apparently that's not what actually people do in World of Warcraft. Um, how many people actually raid? What do you what do players actually do in WoW? Um, and should WoW be hard or should it be easy for players? Um, personally, I think raiding is easy. I think it should be easy. Um, the barrier, uh, the barrier to entry is too high. There with add-ons for like a normal person, um, like so, the same people that have been raiding have always been raiding. There's like no new people coming into the game really, and getting into raiding. And also, the barrier of entry is also like artificially inflated incredibly by players wanting like parses ahead of the curve, that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, do we really split players into two different groups um, of people who are like hardcore raiders and people that are casual players? I don't think so. There's a lot more people that are, you know, go into the WoW ecosystem, honestly. Um, we can kind of jump into that there, of course. Um, you know, honestly, people think sweaty tryhards are the people with multiple characters or parsing, doing hardcore mythic raids, the race world first, esports, all that kind of stuff. And then the filthy casuals, you know, they're questing, fishing, collecting, doing RP. Um, but what's the average player? What's the average player doing? Who is the average player? What is the average player? Um, and honestly, there's there's multiple different kinds of people there that are into the game we got you know the dungeon the raiders people that do professions alcoholic collectors pvp andies all different types of players but the average player according to a couple different um tests as well as some information i got from the US bureau of labor statistics um the average person spends less than three hours per day playing video games there um which sounds pretty normal to me um so they're spending about 10 to 20 hours a week playing video games some people are playing over a couple days there are some people who play you know three hours a day um but looking at it from like a season of discovery standpoint um you know we've only got each phase is only about two months so that's eight weeks um and if you're only playing 15 hours a day that only gives you 120 hours per phase to get everything you want to get done. Is that enough? Do you think that's enough? Would you need more time? Do you think you should be able to level faster, get gear faster, and be able to experience that content? Um, how often do you guys play WoW? How, or <laughs> how much time do you actually spend playing the game every week or every day? Let me know. Um, but I wanna jump into kind of the different kind of players that are out there. Me personally, I prefer to want to be at max level as fast as possible. I want to be able to play multiple characters. That's why I want to be at max level so I can get other characters at max level. I want to be able to do PVE and PVP content. I do enjoy doing raids, but I also enjoy doing PVP as well, like Raid of Battlegrounds, BGs, arenas, all that. Um, but I also want challenging content and surprise, I want AFK content as well. I like something I can do while I'm kind of brain dead, hanging out with my friends and like watching a movie together, something like that. There, a lot of people think that's a controversial take, but you know, to each their own. Other players, some people only want to log in and raid, and then they log off for the rest of the day. Um, other play people just they log in to play with your friends, and then plenty of other people only spend time crafting, questing, exploring, collecting. Or whatever else they're doing um, but some of the different type of people that play there's some people that you might know Zaryu, Asmogold, Belular, and Max they of course you know with Zaryu he's a PvP Andy that's his main spec that's what he does of course he does some other things like raid um, I'm sure he's a collector too you got Asmogold 
I would say he's a main spec collector. He does some raiding. Um, I've seen him do some PvP too. And honestly, he does everything in the book. There, the guys walk in. It's like a Pedia or Wikipedia, anyway. Um, and then Bellular, main spec raider. And then Max, of course, main spec businessman, if we don't already know. Um, honestly, they're all main spec businessmen in real life. Um, I think only. I think Zaryu has it. I know Zaryu has a kid. I don't know if Max does or not. And I don't think Bellular or Asmongold do either. But I don't really pry into their personal lives that much. I just enjoy watching Zaryu's content. <laughs> but uh, comparing yourself on the Bartles player type here, you can kind of see where most of the people kind of spend their time, at least in the game there. 80% um, of people here are spending their time socializing. So most people play an MMO to socialize. Imagine that. Um, so when you're soloing on an MMO, you know, there's a lot of people that do that, but most people are coming into the game to actually socialize and play with their friends. 1% of people are killers. <laughs> so the PvP people, people like me, people like Zaryu, he's the 1%, <laughs> multi-glad. That's our guy. And then 10% are achievers and 10% are explorers. Um, so I'd say pretty much everybody on this list is an achiever. And I probably only say Asma Gold's an explorer, really. I think Bellular maybe too. I know he's really into like lore and everything as well. Um, but how do you guys stack up? Where, were you, where would you guys say that you're kind of at? Me personally, I'm a little bit of everywhere. Um, mostly probably achiever socializer a little bit of a killer sometimes pvp has been really dying out there um so hopefully that'll come back but it doesn't look like wow cares too much except about pushing the new plunger storm so maybe they'll turn that into kind of like an arena type deal i hope they don't stick with like the battle royale thing the whole time because it'd be cool if they transitioned uh <clears throat> arenas and plunder storm into one kind of pvp game mode where you could do rated battlegrounds everything kind of like that but in its own kind of separate universe from world of warcraft maybe but we'll see um but jumping into rating like i was saying like apparently according to bellular less than 10 people less than 10 percent of people actually raid in the game so i did get to thinking there and looking at some different statistics I found online, uh, mostly looking at Warcraft logs, as well as some of other Bellular's videos as references. Um, but if we look at Shadowlands, we're about 8 million subscribers. And then during that time, that was during Sire Denathria. So that's 30,000 total kills. So doing the math on that, that's less than 1%. There, but we don't know if that's the actual number, and it doesn't really say if that number is the amount of people that actually killed him or the amount of deaths he had. So if that's the amount of deaths he had, then we could times that number by 20 there, because about 20 people in each raid would have killed him. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. There, so we can see the average is 20. That's what I would assume there. Obviously, it could be more or less, um, as well as different people that aren't keeping logs or rating without add-ons i don't know um but comparing to baylor's other video where he's talking about how during shadowlands the player count was actually at six million during 9.0 and this is active and game characters so characters that are actually at max level so if we do times this number by 20 and reduce the total number of characters to 6 million, that would be around 10%. I don't know if that's exactly how Bellular did his math or not, but that seems to add up to me and that would make sense. But it's still crazy to think that only 10% of players are actually rating. What what are the other nine out of 10 players doing? That's what I want to know. What are, what are they doing? <laughs> Excuse me. That's my question for all the other 90% of players. If you're not raiding, what are you doing? Like what kind of World of Warcraft player are you? Um, honestly, 
there's people i know there's people that collect mounts do mythic dungeons pvp dual content transmog tons of stuff that you can still do in the game um yeah what do you guys spend your time on and what what's stopping you from raiding is there anything stopping you from raiding or do you just not want to do it um let me go <laughs> let me know what you guys think down in the comments um thanks for watching you have a great day like and subscribe we'll see you later uh oh where's my outro it's a goodbye just a goodbye forever and ever you never come back just a goodbye forever goodbye